who is eligible for it in terms of pursuing it and uh, what are the levels in the CFP qualifications uh, some bit of toughness if you can uh, throw some light on we all have some money if I not if not more we all have some money how to make that money work for you is also an art right think about it that in case for example you do not go and work anywhere in this field right at least you'll be able to manage your own finances nobody will be able to fool you right practically you'll be able to take care of your family's expenses family's tax planning family's retirement planning which is really very important Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Singhra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome, welcome guys, welcome to a session wherein I really want to make a big time announcement to all of you. And you know what that announcement is? Yes, Fintram Global is now an authorized education partner with FPSB India. We are here my friend with two of the gentlemen from the FPSB India and I really want to talk to them as to what they do and how they do and how would that help you as a Fintrammer in pursuing your professional dream to hit the corporates to do something on your own in the best possible way. And guys, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mr. Krishan Mishra who is the CEO of the FPSB India and we'll be talking a lot on to him in terms of you know what he really brings on to the table from the standpoint of FPSB India and I have another gentleman sitting out here we have Mr. Alok over here he heads the authorized education partnerships for the FPSB India and he's here to share with you in terms of you know how can your dream can turn into reality as far as the financial goal is concerned so welcome, welcome the, you know, to both of you. It is always a pleasure to have somebody like you over here. And today I'm sure you know, the students who are really watching you would be, would be uh, really looking forward to hear a lot from you in terms of you know, gaining the expertise and gaining the knowledge as to you know, what FPSB India is really bringing on to the table. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you so much. So guys, you know, while I have given you the, the introduction and while I have given you in terms of, you know, uh, the, the good news per se in terms of, you know, what Fintram really brings onto the table, I really want now to Christian, you know, to help the folks in terms of understanding what the FPSB is all about and of course what the CFP certification is all about. Great. Thank you so much Pankaj and good afternoon, good evening and good morning everyone. Uh, it's a great privilege and honor to be here sitting in front of Pankaj, a proud Fintrammer. <laughs> and I know that Fintram Global has been doing fantastic activity to pursue or to make you pursue various professional qualifications. And this is an honor for us to partner with them. I can talk about my organization first to you. We are FPSB India, the leading Indian financial planning body. What we do is that we bring the global certification called Certified Financial Planner to you so that you are able to understand the nuances of financial planning for your careers. Our vision as an organization is very clear that we are here to make people understand the importance of financial planning and also we would like to make people take this as a career and look forward to it as a profession in the longer run. We are a subsidiary of a US based organization called Financial Planning Standards Board. This organization practically makes the standards for financial planning globally and also owns the CFP marks globally. The organization practically gives you an opportunity to pursue the CFP examination and then get certified as a certified financial planner. Do you know that we have got more than 213,000 people who have already completed this qualification and they are spread across 27 countries globally. This qualification is gaining a lot of importance around the world and India needs a large set of financial planners. Pankaj, you will be surprised to hear that we have got hardly 2,517 certified financial planners in this country with a 1.4 billion population. Now the opportunity is pretty large. In fact, if you go to any website which relates to jobs, whether it is LinkedIn or Nokri or wherever you see, you'll see there is a large set of jobs available for certified financial planners. However, the number of certified financial planners is very small, which means that the demand for the certified financial planners is very high and the supply is less. Interestingly, this qualification not only gives you the opportunity to learn the nuances of investment planning, retirement planning, 
estate planning and risk management, it also prepares you to understand the importance of a financial plan in itself. So you'll create a plan yourself. And then finally, you go through a capstone related examination, wherein you go through a case study based exam. And then you go through a ethics related module and complete the qualification. And post that, you go for an experience requirement. Pankaj, our experience requirement is slightly flexible. It can be unsupervised experience with three years, or otherwise one year of supervised experience. Nice. The qualification is very practical, application based, and it gives you an opportunity to become a wholesome finance professional. Understand one thing that most of the qualifications will give you an opportunity to get employed with the organization. This qualification also gives you an opportunity to go ahead and practice and support people at large. This is a very noble profession, Pankaj, wherein if we go ahead and help one person in, in a particular family, we're actually helping four people in that family. So understand the impact you're going to make across the country, and you'll be able to help people at large to understand the nuances of financial planning for their own benefits and also for the benefit of the society. If we are able to make our society do well, we are going to contribute towards the development of this economy, which is the Indian economy. And we are here to give a global qualification to you in the form that it make, makes you prepared towards handling the global uh, things across the globe. But this qualification will also prepare you to take care of the local aspects, which is regulation and taxes also in the best possible way. Thank you. Thank you very much for such a detailed explanation, Christian. One thing, guys, I can tell you, and this is more, you know, me wearing a hat of, an, uh, you know, of a chartered accountant or a CPA for that matter. Uh, one thing that really distinguishes the, the uh, CFP qualification with any of the, you know, the courses that, that you would have seen globally is that this qualification not only gives you a opportunity to pursue a job with various global companies, but this also gives you the opportunity of practicing yourself, being an entrepreneur in India, practicing CFP, practicing financial planning on the ongoing basis, which is a big distinguishing factor that CFP really brings on to the table. And guess what? Since not many qualifications can give you uh, an opportunity to do something on your own, CFP can really fulfill your dream. So if you're really aspiring to become a finance professional, doing something over here on yourself, whether it is a startup or you being part of the startup or you being a practitioner yourself, then something to look forward to. So thank you very much, Krishan, for that. I think it's, it's an amazing uh, way to really think about guys. But who can tell you better than about CFP other than Mr. Alok, you, you know, sitting out here. He's CFP himself, my friend. And you know what? We should certainly be hearing out from the horse's mouth in terms of, you know, taking it to the level that we really expect on. So over to you, Mr. Alok. Understanding from you would be a key to understand what is this qualification. I would, I would rather take a step back, uh, sir, that, you know, we should idly think about it that, you know, who is eligible for it in terms of pursuing it? And uh, what are the levels in the CFP qualifications? Uh, some bit of toughness, if you can uh, throw some light on. And, uh, you know, I would also want to understand if you can really mention some kind of a scope thing that, that students can really think about. I'm sorry, I'm packaging too many questions oh, into one, perfect, but fine. it's very important <laughs> for students to really know about it. Thank you. Thank you, Pankaj, so much. And uh, welcome, everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. <clears throat> So, um, I would say the, the program uh, is, is easily accessible to everyone who's, uh, who has completed the 12th and people can enroll, join the program and uh, finish it. But at the time of certification, they need to be a graduate, uh, which is, and the program consists of four modules, wherein there are the first three specialist modules. You have to do those in modules independently. You can take them in any sequence. The modules consist of uh, subjects such as investment planning, retirement and tax planning, risk and estate planning. So these are the three specialist courses which we have and a student has the liberty to take them in any sequence he would, she would like to do that. Once we have uh, the student has completed these three, then he has to move to the final level, which is the exam and the uh, submission of a financial plan. So herein, the board gives a, a mock case study to a student and he is supposed to make a financial plan considering whatever he has learned in the previous three subjects. 
he has to make a comprehensive holistic financial plan of the case study <clears throat> and uh, present it to the board the board gets it analyzed and uh, wherein the practicing cfp professionals they go through that and uh, depending on how good or uh, uh, what all the plan covers a student is analyzed for that evaluated for that once the evaluation is successful a student moves to take the final exam so final exam also is consists of a case study wherein a case study comes and there are set questions which are there on that and a student is supposed to answer <clears throat> the questions based on the case study and this is as far as the uh, composition of the modules and the exam is concerned and coming back to your next question pankaj i think uh, for a student uh, i think the Uh, with a, a good amount a reasonable amount of time given to this a student can finish it between let's say 10 months to 14 16 months depending on how much time how much study does he do and uh, how much uh, previous knowledge which he is carrying or the subjects which he is studying you know maybe there is an overlap if i am doing mba finance then i have some knowledge of financial products and that so there is some overlapping in that so depending on that i think a, a good amount of time a reasonable time is between 10 months to 16 months to finish this certification then uh, we also have a, a challenger pathway uh, which is a shortcut which is kind of a, you know we give accreditation to those who are coming uh, with a prior work experience with a prior set of education qualifications so what happens here they are exempted from taking the exams of the specialist courses however they have to study those courses but they are exempted from taking the exam of those courses and they can straight away move on to the level where they have to make a financial plan and then move on to take the exam so for them the duration of the course is slightly reduced and we have seen that people are able to do it within 5 months to 6 months to 7 months and they become a, a cfp certificate in that duration of time oh very nice so guys we are talking over here a qualification to be to be achieved to be grabbed on in 12 to 16 months 10 to 16 months of time who would not want to give 16 months to have a graceful career around the world everybody but everybody would want to and i'm sure you know so does you so are you looking forward to it the only thing that we really need to understand is and do not worry i'm trying to unlayer it as much as possible for you to ensure that you're really not missing on to that only thing that you should be thinking about it is ki isko humne shuru kaise karna hai और इसको हमने कितनी जल्दी खत्म करने के लिए या जितनी जल्दी खत्म करने के लिए क्या क्या स्टेप लेने हैं सो वी रियली हैव टू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड आई एम श्योर यू नो दैट इज द थॉट दैट इज रियली कमिंग ऑन टू योर माइंड विल टॉक ऑन दैट इन ए वाइल बट व्हाट इज वन थिंग दैट रियली टॉपल्स अप इन ऑन टू योर माइंड एंड ऑफकोर्स इन रियली ट्रैवलिंग यू वुड बी एज कि सर इसको करने के बाद जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं या नहीं हैं सर हमें जॉब मिलेगी या नहीं मिलेगी वो तो बताओ दैट इज अगेन समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्वेश्चन टू यू माइंड थ्रोइंग सम लाइट ऑन टू इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो काइंड ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट वन कैन रियली एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ इट श्योर श्योर पंकज एंड थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ इफ इफ यू लुक एट द एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी अपॉर्चुनिटीज द बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट दिस क्वालिफिकेशन नॉट ओनली क्रिएट्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर यू बट इट ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर यू टू बिकम एबल और कैपेबल इनफ टू पिक अप द राइट सेट ऑफ जॉब्स विच आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट टूडे the qualification is very practical and application based and that's why you are job ready from day one itself the other thing is that if you look at the employment scenario in india think about the banking financial services and the insurance sector itself how many banks do we have today in our country like we have got public sector banks we have got private sector banks foreign banks cooperative banks rural banks nbfcs small finance banks payment banks look at the kind of number of people they need right If if you look at various wealth management firms, portfolio management services, right, family offices, securities firms, mutual fund companies, right, the spectrum is very very large, and they require qualified professionals. I wanted to share something to you that uh, if you practically look at the market today, most of the people who sell the financial products, they're actually not qualified to do that, right? And when they get a qualification like this, the trust factor comes. so if you have got a good amount of money to be given to a bank or any other organization or you want to invest it you would like not like to invest that kind of a money through krishan who is not a qualified cfp but through alok who is a qualified certified financial planner right why alok because he has already gone through this course and he has committed to ensuring ethics so for a cfp right the client interest is the priority on the other hand for any other advisor it might be his own interest 
which would be priority. So when you do this kind of a qualification, you look at the benefits of the client. You are looking at the wholesome financial planning of an individual. It is not only about giving you the ideas about investing in the market, but it also tells you that where to invest, when to invest, and how to in get invested for a long term uh, in, in the investment markets. It also tells you the importance of tax planning, insurance planning, retirement planning, which is really very important. Most of us do not plan for our retirement till the time of uh, we touch the age of 45, 50. I think retirement planning should start at the age of 22, 23. And I think if you take it as a, uh, take it as a profession yourself, you should practically plan for your own retirement at an early age. The other thing is that if you look at the estate planning and risk management and compliances, this particular field wherein you have to do a lot of work in terms of managing money practically, you need to understand the importance of risk management for your stakeholders who have given you the money, right, and ensuring compliances as per the regulatory environment. Now, if you look at estate planning, I can tell you that it's very interesting that most of the cases in India, right, when, when we look at the civil cases, are filed because people never plan for their estate. There's no will uh, for a person who is living his, uh, living his inheritance. So practically, now look at the areas in which you can work. You can work with a pension organization, you can work with an insurance firm, you can work with a banking organization, you can work with an investment bank, a private, a private banking organization, family offices, and if you, look at, yeah, if you look at the multinational corporations or startups, now think of a startup wherein you have got a lot of money but you do not know how to manage your money. Do you know that if you're a startup, you can actually take care of your AMIs through the money which you have by investing them in the right places, which you do not have actually got that knowledge for. I can tell you that most of the people who are CEOs in various organizations, they struggle with their numbers. And if you ask them a question that, OK, uh, what is the financial situation of your organization? And the CEO might tell you that, oh, I do not know this. My CFO knows, right? And practically, we want all the CEOs and board members to learn the importance of financial planning. In fact, every individual in this country should actually understand the importance of financial planning for their own well-being and for the well-being of the people who are associated with them. So it is really very important. So I think we are looking forward to a very large journey. But yes, we are on the right path, I can tell you. Employability is not a concern at all. You need to focus on your course, prepare well for the course, write the examinations, complete the course, and you, sky would be a limit for you, that much I can tell you. Demand is more, supply is very, very less. So, you know, one thing that really uh, trickles down, you know, in terms of, you know, what I've spoken, or what you've spoken on this is that a course like this or a certification like this is not to be earned for making money, but it is to be earned for making money out of your own money. You know what I mean, right? We all have some money, if, I not, if not more, we all have some money. How to make that money work for you is also an art, right? We, we are dependent on mutual funds, we are dependent on stock markets, we are dependent on real estates, we are dependent on the profits of the organizations and so on and so forth. But how much we can understand it well, or what we should know about it, or what we should understand in terms of really making the best out of our money, is something that this qualification can really teach you can really teach you or can really, can really coach you. And that's where this qualification and, and Krishan, I really uh, uh, want to control you, control B, those kind of words that you just mentioned, that uh, this qualification is not a qualification to, to really think about a, an employment. It is thinking about how can you be employable and how can you really employ so many people because you would be able to earn a lot out of your own money and from the people's money that you can do a lot in the market on the whole which of course brings me to a to a you know to a point where i can i can, you know where i started off with saying that this qualification not only helps you be getting placed in the organization but this also helps you start something on your own because ab aapko pata hai bhai ki apne paise ko kaise sambhalna hai dusre ke paise ko kaise sambhalna hai kaise return leke aana hai kaise growth karni hai and so on and so forth. I, you know, I, guys, just to tell you, I'm sure you know most of you know, uh, I was heading the finance for BlackRock, and BlackRock are the largest asset managers in the world. The reason they are able to earn money is because they have these strong ethics. And there, the client comes first. And Krishna, I relish what you said 
of this qualification that this qualification really wants you to have those ethical framework onto yourself and live for the client as best as possible because if you have that then you can really deliver to the client best to the best extent possible and of course client will really rely on you and that's what I'm sure you would, would certainly make this qualification being differentiated in the market. But one thing, uh, uh, Dr. Kunal, I would, I would really want to ask you, Dr. Uh, Alok, I, sorry. Uh, but one thing, uh, Dr. Alok, I really want to ask you is uh, that uh, how much money a guy may need to spend on in terms of you know, getting a qualification like this? That is, you know, I can tell you, you know, being in the education field um, and talking to so many students, Many of the students and of course the parents would have that as a concern ki sir, uh, qualification samajh mein aati hai, value samajh mein aata hai, employability bhi dikhti hai, hoti hui, main kuch apna bhi kar sakta hoon, sab kuch thik hai sir, but you know, what will be the approximate expense of having this kind of a qualification, if you can so throw some light sure. on to that. Sure, sure, I'm a very very relevant and valid question Pankaj I would say. Uh, I would, uh, I would say that this is the one of the cheapest international certifications which you would find today. A certification which is valid globally, a certification which gives you a leverage of working for an employer or having your own practice. So uh, for a person who is doing the program in a regular basis, maybe doing in all four courses, it is somewhere around uh, close to a lakh of rupees for the entire certification. And for those who are coming through the challenge pathway, which is a shorter pathway for by virtue of their experience and education, it is somewhere around 70, 75,000 or so, which is and and also this money is not paid by a student upfront because this money is paid by the student in his entire student journey, which could be from 10 months or up to 10 months or 12 months and 16 months. So he doesn't have to on the first day he doesn't have to come with his purse full and give this money to the board for that so there are various stages and as a student advances in his journey he has to pay like register then pay then pay. purchase the course material and pay take the exam and pay take a certification and pay like this he has to pay so he is not burdened with paying the entire sum on day one which is a comfort for his students. absolutely and guys we're talking over here 75,000 to 1 lakh of rupees that is the money you would pay even for being in a school, my friend. If you are in a school, you are paying this kind of a money for a year, right? As the total fee for the school program. Be it in class 8, 9, 10, 12, you know, you would be paying somewhat, somewhere equivalent to this in your school. We are talking about an international qualification, making you not only employable, but also an entrepreneur in yourself. Also a money, money mind in yourself. So guys, what are we waiting for? There is nothing to be to be thought about. We have to have to grab this and we have to think about it as soon as possible. But one thing that you that may be bothering you into your mind, and of course, you know, I really want to bring on to the table for yourself is ki sir, isko hum class 12th ke saath shuru kar sakte hain, pehle shuru kar sakte hain, ya baad mein shuru kar sakte hain. You know, if you can throw some light onto it, I think that will be again very helpful. So, uh, Dr. Alok, if you can. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, as I told you, uh, certification ko hum class 12 ke baad start kar sakte hain. That okay. is the minimum criteria we have. So, you can't pursue it while you are doing your 11th and 12th, while you are in school. Once you are, you, once you move to college education, after 12th, you can start the program. And by the time you finish it, and when you are ready for certification, you should be having a graduation okay. and you should be having it at least three years of work experience. Okay. And that work experience can be before or after? Can be before, uh, during, during or after. Very good. So, you know, effectively guys, for all the class 12 students, if you have done it, if you have done the class 12, come on board. There is a lot to learn over here and there is a lot to gain from the FPSB India. There is a lot to look forward to. I think. Uh, to start with sir and you know sirs you know i think this is this this, this is really helpful in terms of knowing uh, i would say uh, the breaking the ice kind of a thing as far as the you know the initial discussion is concerned uh, we may have more some you know some more questions as we as we really you know uh, get into uh, the details uh, you know and of course you know we start hearing from the students on this but what is really you know helpful over here is to have an insight from you in terms of you know uh, what the FPSB India really brings on to the table and what is that that students should be expecting for. Any, 
any last, uh, you know, uh, I would say suggestions or guidance that you would want to give to the students who are really looking forward to making something into the into the finance world, you know, Christian. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Pankaj. Uh, for the students, I think uh, it is important for them to decide on what they practically would like to do in their lives. If they are looking forward to an employment or entrepreneurship opportunity, I think this qualification is the right one for them. It's not necessary that you need to look at only the finance qualifications for yourself, but when it comes to learning the nuances of financial planning yourself, right? Think about it that in case, for example, you do not go and work anywhere in this field, right? at least you'll be able to manage your own finances. Nobody would be able to fool you. right? Practically, you'll be able to take care of your family's expenses, family's tax planning, family's retirement plan planning, which is really very important. In fact, I'll tell you, most of the people, they go to certain people who are influencers, who talk about financial planning, but they are not certified financial planners themselves. Right? Most of the investing which happens in our country is practically based on speculations and herd mentality. Right? So we need, we need not be part of that herd mentality, we need not be part of that uh, speculation kind of a thing which happens in the market. We should have a goal and an efficient plan to work towards that goal. And if we are able to do it for ourselves and we are able to help people at large, this is a very noble cause if you are able to do it and then ma make uh, people's life change. And uh, I think uh, nothing can be better than this. It would be very satisfying and it will also give you a long term career. I can tell you whether you are an entrepreneur or you are working for the best of the organizations. I can tell you that the number of organizations are tremendous and any organization, every organization will need a financial planner in some way or another. So though I spoke about only BFSI industry while talking about employability, practically you think of an organization and you think about their requirements, they need a financial planner to take care of their work. So that's my uh, advice to the students. Please look forward to this cause as a noble cause for themselves and their own families too. So it's a noble cause coming noble way, my friend. You know, we have a lot to take on to from it. And of course, you know, if we have something like this, we, we, we can not only help others, we can help ourselves also in terms of, you know, making you know making life large out of it so you know really look forward to it and i'm sure you know uh, you know if you want to hear you know, hear more and of course know about this qualification stay tuned you know i'm giving the link below you know can really you know subscribe you know to us and of course reach out to us giving all the details below you know we'll be more than happy to help you in terms of you know really pursuing this journey in the best possible way and of course helping you clarifying any kind of doubts that you may have but to end my friends you know we really have to thank you know be thankful to these two gentlemen over here Really, really want to thank you, you know, Dr. Alok, you know, for, for being thank here you, and uh, Mr. Krishan for, you know, having, um, you know, of course, uh, you know, this kind of a candid chat in terms of discussing that, you know, how, uh, you know, qualification can really help people not only to outgrow themselves, but also to, you know, uh, to really uh, help others in their life, you know, as much as possible. I think it's, it's going to be a good game changer for all of them. And I'm sure, you know, they'll come back to us with some kind of questions, concerns, you know, we may get back to you. We may um, you want to take your help in terms of you know sure. taking that sure. forward, but for now you know I really want to thank you uh, for for taking out time for this discussion. Uh, we are really going to be having many more engaging discussions like this as we go forward. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Pankaj. Uh, thank you for inviting us, and we look forward to interacting with all the students in the in the classroom when they look forward to pursuing this course. So all the very best. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.